this account. Now we are going to do a an assignment, but it's more of a guided note sheet. So this will help you on your test that you're going to take. Tomorrow? No, you're it'll be in a couple weeks. So go ahead and follow along. You will answer every single block and I lecture. Ethan, why are you with me? You can keep it steady. Do not move your arms. Don't get your fingers in the way. Guys, he's got it. He has been trained. Okay. So, first and foremost, we're going to talk about abbreviations. So, who can tell me the abbreviation for tablespoon? TBS. Micah. TBS. TBS. Good job. Hi. Hi. Sorry to do this with me. I'm just having your career. Mrs. Wadley. Mrs. Wadley? Or with She's just in her office. No, I know. Yeah, but. So you're correct. So TBS. Good job. We're not quite there yet, but I'll write it down. Yeah, you overachiever. Okay, so we have TBS, a capital T, or TBSP. These are the three that you will see for a tablespoon. Teaspoon, just like Micah said, is TSP or lowercase t. So these will often be used. So you will almost never see a lowercase t associated with tablespoon. It'll always be capitalized. And for teaspoon, it will be lowercase. For gallon, we have G-A-L, capital G, or sometimes G-L. Okay. Quart. Who knows what this one is? Okay. I know that not, that Micah knows. Who else knows? Micah knows. Q yeah. QRP. No. Good job. To cut out one letter. QT. QT. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Not you. Thank you. Donald Trump technically Wait. <laughs> 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 that was actually really good, but anyway. No, no, he's got a point. So, to abbreviate for quart, we use QT. For pint, it's PT. Good job. I'm so smart. Okay. For cup, it is either a capital C or a lowercase c. Isn't it sense this word is so short, people just say cup sometimes? Yeah, they just write out cup. But if it is abbreviated, that's what it'll look like. Either a capital C or a lowercase c. LDS. For you are just on top of it. That's so, cool. Micah remembers these. An ounce is OZ. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So how many of you took foods last year? Not me. Yeah, I wish I did though. Quite a few of you. Good job. Yeah. So just like Micah said, we have LBS or just LB and the hashtag sign also means pound. 
or tic-tac-toe or whatever you want to call it. That is also an abbreviation for pound. Doesn't it mean pound? Yeah. Hashtag came after pound. Okay, the ounce is O-Z. Fluid ounce is um, F-L-O-Z, if I remember right. Yeah, good job. So with this, when we're talking about pounds, do you guys know why it's LB? No. That's why sometimes we're naming a different language. In Spanish, pound means libras. I know I'm not saying that correctly, but because of the Latin, that's where the LB comes from, is from Latin. Okay? Next we have hour. That is HR. Minute is M I N. And fluid ounces, it's not on your paper, but you do need to know it for your test. L B O Z. So it's F L. Oh, never mind. I. 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 Cameraman doesn't talk. Yeah. Yeah, stop talking, cameraman. She wants to leave those. That is illegal. Okay. Voice is off. Look up here. So make sure you have these filled in on your papers, okay? So I'll give you just a minute to do that. The next part of class, we're going to talk about the gallon man, or as I have the gallon robot. So this is a little bit small. So if you need to come up closer to see it, you can. If you need to move seats up here, you are welcome to. So we have our robot. His body is a gallon. Okay. How many quarts are there in a gallon? Six. Four. 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 Good job, Jenna and Micah. Because quart for quarter. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Ethan just made a really good point. The word quart is part of quarter. So if you think there's a fourth of a dollar is a quarter. So a fourth of our gallon is a quart. All right. We'll see if we have issues with this sticking. Last period it was okay, but we'll see. Next we have pints. How many pints are in one quart? Two, two right? Two. What more is right? Yeah. Two. So what? then how many are there in a gallon? Eight. Four. Good job, Jude. Good job, Jude. Um, All right, and some of these might fall. How many cups are in a pint? Six. That was kind of fun, wasn't it? How many cups are in a gallon? Sixteen. We will get to that in just a minute. How many cups are in a gallon? All right. I can So these are like his shoulders and his thighs. These are like his legs and his arms. And there are the cups, his feet and his hands. Yes. Isn't that cute? Isn't that so cute? That's like awesome. He's a happy robot. Masks on, please. Thank you. Can't believe he's got so much. Okay, so how many cups are in one cup? Good job, you already answered that. How many cups? We will get to that. So, these are his little feet. Yeah, these are all cups. Like I said, they're really small. So, if you need to move up closer, you can. Like two cups in a pint? Two cups in a pint. In my OCD cell, I had to make these actual portions of them. So like the cups really do fit inside the pint. Okay. Yeah. So how many? So count up all 16. 
16. Good job, guys. Good job. So as yeah. Um, how many cups in the basin? We're getting to that. So right now, this is our gallon robot. So right down below, we're going to talk about conversions. So how many teaspoons does it take to fill one tablespoon? Four. Three. Three. Good job, Sunny. Okay. Yeah. So cups in one pint. Mm -hmm. All right. Next, how many quarts are in a gallon? Four. Thank you, Janelle. So you can see four quarts in one gallon. Okay, how many cups in a pint? We already answered that. We have two cups in one pint. What about tablespoons in um, a fourth of a cup? Oh, one. How many of these would it take to fill up one of these? Four. Good job, Micah. No. So it is four. What's your question? Okay, so down below we have three, ta three teaspoons to one tablespoon. How many pounds is one? How many? Wait, how many fluid ounces is one pound? Eight, 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 for one stick of butter, how many cups? This is from your assignment yesterday. Half a cup. A half cup. Okay, good job. Tablespoons in one cup. There are 16. 16 of them, okay? And a tablespoon? 16 tablespoons in one cup. Wait, so there's four tablespoons in one fourth of a cup? Yeah. So there are four tablespoons in a fourth of a cup. There are 16 tablespoons in one cup. Oh, that's a lot of math. Does that make sense? So it would take 16 of these to fill up one of these. Four tablespoons in a quarter cup? That's ironic. Hey, cameraman didn't make jokes. Okay, next we have how many cups, or how many flu out, fluid ounces in one Eight. cup? Eight. Good job, Mike. Yes, let's go. That's again from your assignment yesterday. And how many ounces are in one and one pound? Micah, <laughs> there are 16. Good job. From now on, please raise your hand when you answer. Okay, now the question at the very bottom of the paper. What happens to your cooking temperature when you double a recipe? It messes up. You have to, you have what to happens? have to, you have what to, have to have cook. The, the cooking temperature. Yeah, exactly. You have to have you, to cook. Um, yeah. it, it, <laughs> take away whatever, you take away half of the cooking temperature that you, you cook. You cook half as much chicken. No, like the cooking temperature is set at, you take away half of that. What? Okay. No, no. So, mm -hmm. this is really, really simple. When you double a recipe, your cooking temperature stays the same. That's all you have to write for question one. It stays the same. This is the temperature. But you gotta decrease the time. So the time is what changes. Good job. Is the time? Do you is it like 1.5? I think you're I'm right. Really so I'm not sure. Because I was cooking chicken nuggets in my microwave last night. Yeah. Yeah. It went from one minute to one minute thirty seconds if I added some more chicken nuggets. Got it. Dino nuggets? Yes, sir. With, with yeah. awesome. They're yeah. spicy. Yeah. Good. Good. Where did you get those? So, yeah. so That's good. voices off. Wait, what happens if they double? It stays the same. So your temperature it stays the same no matter how you alter your recipe. If you only have half of it, or if you double it, it stays the same. That's so, cool. so for example, your oven will always be 350 degrees if your cookie recipe says 350 degrees. 
flipping to the back side of your sheet. It's the same thing when you have your recipe. So it stays the same. So write that for number one on the back side. So what changes when you do double a recipe? Is it like 0.75 the amount of time? It's all you have to write for this question is that the time changes. So you cook it longer when you double a recipe. Sorry, I didn't accept the question. But for the last question on the back of the sheet and the first one on the front, they both stay the same. Your cooking time changes when you double and your cooking time changes when you cut it in half. Now the rest of this sheet, these are just really good things for you to know when you measure. I already did the food demonstration yesterday of how to measure. So you don't really need to know these, but it's just a good review. All right, so now let's talk about converting recipes. So when you have a recipe, when you divide it in half, you're dividing it by two. So I'm going to give you an assignment where you have to go through and divide each of the ingredients by two. Yeah, not measuring. Some of these is good information for you to know. It's okay. You need to practice. You don't have to film this. We never bought paper. Yeah, don't film over here. I don't consent.